guys, just give me uh, a couple of minutes. I've just got this document that's just come through, which I want to prove before we get back on the road. Right now, we are going to 315 Spadana Avenue, Toronto, which is a residential real estate project of ours in Toronto, in downtown. It's one of our most important one is a massive project more than a hundred million dollars and it involves a couple of pension funds as well it's exciting because it's downtown because it's a big project and because of the nature of the partners that we've got on board so it's exciting yeah and it's in construction the project started three years ago so the idea being that for those younger professionals who who really don't need a lot of space in their unit, who don't want to pay a lot of rent, but want to live proximate to downtown and in a entertaining, nice part of town. This is, this is meant to appeal to them. Younger Torontonians are getting used to the idea of less and less space because real estate here is so expensive. So here we are, as you can see, it's amazing real estate ahead of you. It's just the kind of thing that we would all want to live in not now but in a few years to come so let's step outside have a bit of a glance get some vitamin d as you call it it is actually vitamin d but we'll call it vitamin d to make to make you feel at home this is our most recent development i'm very proud of it it'll be a terrific addition it will give a lot of Residents, good housing in a nice part of town. Yeah, so we're gonna see the first projects that I developed as well as one that's just been completed as well. It's a trip down memory lane lots of uh, good memories associated with that particular first step. So as you can see, I am now the new brand logo representative of Booster Juice. Once in a while, it's a treat. Uh, I don't do it every day. So here we are at the very first project that I began here in Toronto, in Canada. Actually, it's in Oshawa. Uh, back in late 2011, where we are standing right now is about where I was standing in lots of snow, trying to figure out why nobody had built student housing here before. And um, eventually it took me several months of figuring, that, figuring out that nobody had built student housing here because nobody had built it. There was a massive need for it. The site was perfect. It's across the road from campus. It's zoned for student housing. Like everything stacked up, but nobody had bothered doing it. Stacked townhouses, really nice finish rented out really really quickly for an awful lot more than what we had expected you know so that was that this is the second project 1900 simcoe street north student housing condominiums sold as condominiums to investors and they'll rent it out to students and on the ground floor you've got restaurants and food options right adjacent to campus it's a nice building and a heck of a lot better than what students had over here uh, before we moved. Okay, so we're on the way to the third property, again Simcoe Street. So in the first project we built stacked town houses. In the second project we built condos with, with uh, ground floor retail. So what we decided for the third one is that we would put all three components into the third one. So we've got stacked town houses, residential condos, and commercial ground floor real estate. On my left, you've got the residential condos. On the right, you've got the stacked townhouses. And then again, on my left, a small number of commercial real estate for restaurants. So this is the third and final location in terms of our real estate tour. The units are complete and sold and the units, residential units, town stacked townhouses, they have access to 
the seven acre park that is being developed for them it's almost complete some minor bits and pieces in terms of the grass has to be put into place but otherwise you can see the contours of what's being assembled out here it's a wonderful space i mean if you're living in one of these homes and you have this kind of view and access to a private park like this i mean what a terrific terrific place you know it's peaceful it's quiet yet you are proximate enough to an arterial road it's really nice and it's a very interesting conversation how this began because the city was reluctant to let us develop this piece of real estate because they were like you know what this is protected territory and the more we probe the more we kind of realize that parts of it are protected and parts of it are not so why don't we take the parts that are not protected build on those and make the rest of it enjoyable you know enjoyable for people to actually use and i mean if you look at it it's just fantastic my office the sanctuary so welcome to the office here we go it's not particularly conventional but more am I. yeah i know it feels a bit like a comfortable uh, uh lounge but if you're going to spend an awful lot of your life in an office you may as well make it comfortable in my view so where can i start uh oh my goodness so you've got some interesting prints like this is the building at my old school where I was from 7 till 18. That's a 10th century Quranic manuscript over there, the original. Yeah, lots of maps, one of the earliest maps of the London Underground, uh, where I spent many, many hours going in and out of different places. Up of Upper Canada, this is what Canada used to look like. Uh, and these are 17th century maps of Hertfordshire and Middlesex, which are essentially where I grew up as a young child. You know, I don't know, I mean, you can just go on. There's lots of me and my past in this office. Uh, things that appeal to me, things that I enjoy. Coffee table books are quite representative of some of the things that I enjoy and I'm interested in. And beyond that, this is my desk. Bit of a mess right now, but that's not entirely my fault. Yeah, so there you go, this is it, this is home. Mm -hmm. 